Hi friends, on this short review I will show you a little bit of Xpost framework. This is by the XDA developer Rovo89 and you will find everything about on XDR sites and XDR developers. Um, this is a very useful app to um, change the UE, change thems, change app per DPD and uh, the best is it works on MTK CPUs now. So let's have a look inside how it works on this one and what modules do work now. So first we have to go there, this is the Lenovo S75 phone um, which the MTK6859 CPU inside and uh, I will show you what the Xpost framework does in a moment. So first you see here uh, um, the Xpost installer. This is the most important thing, uh, the most important app for working with Xpost. Um, this app must be installed on a rooted phone. This is very important. The phone must be rooted. Um, this is the main app. So, like you see, the XBlast tool or the XDAM engine or something like this, these are only the modules which worked inside the Xpost installer. So, let's have a look in the installer now. This is the main front app side. Um, you see, it's activated now for this phone. The way to activate it, you have to install the RPK and from, from XDR developers as normal RPK ins, uh, application. On first run, you have to install the update. You only check this out, click and uh, after this when it says it's okay you have to reboot the phone your device now so if everything is okay you see the green ones here shows it's activated on latest app processing and the latest installer is 2.1.4 um, what you see here uh, you see this is the first side of the app and now you see the modules. Every module you installed on the phone is now listed here in the module side. Um, you see the app settings here and this is a very useful um, app for um, change the DPE side on every own app. Um, this is app per app DPE side means that you can choose one app and you can uh, reach resize the DPE for every app. I will show you this in a short way. Now it's loading all apps on my phone here. So you see these are some of my apps or all of my apps and um, the apps I changed are red underlined here but you see on this phone I haven't done so pretty much before um, but we can try out here was one this was app to SD I changed the DPE scale um, I can show you how it works on this side you see here I changed DPE from normal was it zero to 260. The font scale is 100. This is the normal font scale. Um, you can check out here the default or other DPE sizes of your screen. Uh, means if you have a bigger screen, you have a bigger sized here. Um, you can put it on here and stop it. So for every app you want, you can do it after and after. The most important thing now 
is that we can use the gravity box module for the MTK phones. This is very important for us because when you are a fan of China phones uh, with the new uh, MTK 6589 uh, CPUs inside, you will find specific fixes here and uh, there are some tweaks like you see on my phone you get a transparent uh, get transparent status bar and you have the chance to uh, change the lock uh, screen here you have power tweaks means um, you can change um, the reboot menu if you are only um, reboot uh, to recovery or reboot uh, into bootloader and so on this is not uh, normally on the ROMs we get from China very special thing is the engineer mode here you can go in a direct engineer mode from uh, the MTK CPU inside hope you can see it my phone will not autofocus a moment I don't know why so uh, just have a test on this you see the connectivity tests I hope you can see this the telephony test uh, you have the hardware you can do some changes here in the application GPS and so on we go back so this is really really a cool app here now um, it's very wait a moment so it's very important to check these modules which you want to use and first you see I checked four of uh, five uh, modules here because the X plus tool doesn't work on this phone uh, it depends on the phone you have which modules are working here um, very fine thing is the XDAM engine it's moment the beta 5 version here this is the possibility to change the DAM on your stock ROM um, or changing specific DAMs in it in moment you will see um, if you can see it I have special uh, not really good to see now in moment I well, hope you can see this I'm in moment on the dam touch with by Xperia touch with five dam so you can see here the blue notes everything uh, seems to be in blue like touch with has I will show you a little bit by getting into the settings you will see the changes after we restart and we take a new UI here you see the icons this is only from Xperia mixed with touch wheels here from everything in the settings so keep in mind so let's have a try we go to modules so we go to XDAM. Now we change the DAM. So here you see, this is my where the star is. This is my uh, system DAM in moment. So let's have a look what we done. We take um, the Xperia Jelly Bean MU now. So only we we'll only go to apply them so after testing a while uh, I will tell you go on Abbrechen and start the phone normally not with soft reboot only a really reboot please like I saw before um, the UI will not go uh, morphing um, everything if it's not a complete reboot. So you see it's starting again. It's a very cool phone, the Lenovo S75 waterproof phone.
works a little bit on the water and it's same specific like the new Samsung Active Phone both have IP67 standards here so let's have a look after starting a while YouTube stopped this is a wrong thing I think so you see it's a little bit different now you will see here um, the icon sets changed a moment so let's have a short while wait for uh, the real start of the phone so now we go to settings again oops a little bit difficult now you see before starting it was the blue line we have colored icons the UI has changed now you will see it directly so we have a yellow one by Mew colors here as the buttons they all changed by the engine so just have to take a look in the apps now just have to go here and I will show you that it has changed we can go directly now when it's activated to the engine start please you will see here you see directly now Xperia Jellybean UI is taken as the new them and it's very easy to use hope you have fun with this try it out it's a very useful thing for MTK phones and for every phone which is rooted and has Android um, 4 is the minimum for this um, try it out have fun